Sebastian has developed their work in various formats, ceramics, photography, installation, performance, video, among others. They are interested in addressing the concept identity from a critical stance, revising class, gender, sexuality, and everything defined from the parameters inherited by colonialism. The performance Bodies in Resistance compiles from colonial accounts the diverse ways to name the word sodomy in Mapudungun, the Mapuche language. Their people, the Mapuche, have resisted through the history of the colonial violence imposed by the Chilean state. In the performance, the artist analyzes the processes of colonization and evangelization as practices that normalized and wiped out the non-heterosexual identities that were present before the European colonization. The work deals with the artist's body, the resistance, the color blue, the sound, and the relationship between the hair and the Mapuche worldview, questioning the colonial imaginaries of the gender built by the Western world. In the middle of the hood, worn during the action, there is a guñelbe, morning star or Venus, symbol of the Mapuche resistance, which has been the banner used by many organizations throughout the resistance. Another work where the guñelbe appears is Kota Mapungeika, water is also territory. The work establishes a poetic and political relationship between the water, the artist's body, the Mapuche language, and the territory. In a combination of techniques, the installation proposes a path that goes through the water toponymies in Mapudungun, Foyeco, Calfuco, Curuco, Renaico, among others, and the insistent message, the soil does not dry up on its own, others dry it up. The map of the territory that today corresponds to Chile and extracts of the Articles 5 and 9 of the Chilean Water Code published in 1981 in the middle of the dictatorship, which established that water is a marketable good. Other pieces of the work are ceramic moldings shaped as water containers of different capacities and sizes in shades of blue, intervened with the concepts sequia, saqueo, and petorca leufu which are drought, looting, Petorca River. Petorca is a territory which has no water due to the extractivist capitalism ruling the area, which rendered the town waterless. The work seeks to question the historical bonds between the water and the Mapuche people in relation to the neoliberal extractivism present in Chile and its model of water privatization. The water is a central topic in the artist's last works, since it allows them to think the relationship there is between body and nature. In Coculen, Sebastian goes through a bodily, personal and poetic journey regarding the water, wetlands, lakes, oceans, rivers and springs. The work addresses the concepts of body, binarism, gender, sexuality, the historical relationship between water and life, as well as their potential as a living space necessary to the relationship of all territories. All the life forms are necessary for us to understand that our existence is not only anthropocentric, but it belongs to every being which inhabits this world without imposing ourselves over each other. Sebastian doesn't define their work from just one place, not even from two. It is a space in constant transit, which doesn't seek to be certain about anything, but to question the ruling order which was inherited from the colonialism and the patriarchy.